Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Electrical Forensics. And we're here to characterize this Stroy voltage problem that I have on my neutral system here in my home in Tucson, Arizona. And what you're looking at in red is the 120 volt AC waveform. And in yellow, we have the grounding system waveform as referenced to a non-electrified ground rod in my back garden. And we have a 470 ohm resistor in the circuit between the electrical ground and the non-electrified ground rod. And I've been wondering for a while how to establish where this voltage is coming from. And this is the test I devised to figure out the resistance and impedance of the neutral connection. So off screen, I have a 1500 watt load. It's an electric kettle. You can also use an electric heater, just as long as it's 1500 watts and it's plugged into one phase. I'm gonna switch it on. So watch the yellow waveform. So that voltage draw is caused by sending current down the neutral. And we have a two phase system here in the USA. We have a live one and a live two and I'm going to plug it in to the other phase. And you'll notice that the voltage goes up when you turn the kettle on and it goes down when you turn it off. So by noting those values, you can actually run some calculations and establish the actual impedance of the neutral cable. And when you run the calculations, I get a value of 0 0.01212 ohms. Now, I actually see this peak up to 1.6 volts in summertime and it gets really hot and everybody's running their air conditioning systems and it's 110 degrees now. I'm seeing 1.6 volts on my electrical grounding system. And what that translates to is 132 amps is what I would have to pass down the neutral system to generate 1.6 volts, assuming that the other end of the neutral cable at the transformer is at zero volts. So one of the things that I'm quite sure of is there's absolutely no way there's 132 amps going down the neutral connection from my home back to the transformer. So what that tells me is that this voltage is actually originating at the transformer. It's actually being backfed from the utility company into my home. And it's the utility company who are electrifying my home. And what actually happens is this gets all over anything that is grounded. So that yellow waveform, you'll find it all over the place. If you've got copper plumbing, you'll find it all over your copper plumbing. If you've got electrically conductive concrete or tile flooring, you'll find it all over your tile flooring and your concrete flooring. And Anything you touch that is electrically grounded will have this voltage on it. And anytime you come into contact with it, you're being electrified with that voltage. And long-term exposure to this is actually documented in the industry as stray voltage. Stray voltage does a lot of very, very weird things to people and animals and also plants. So if you've got a stray voltage problem, you may actually be quite sick in summertime and that's what shows up in a lot of people is they start getting these mystery summertime illnesses and when summer's over and everybody turns off the air conditioning these mystery health problems subside until the following year and then summertime comes the air conditioner season comes back and this voltage gets on to a, a lot of homes and people start getting sick in them so it's something to watch out for you're getting summertime sickness you should be suspecting that you're being exposed to a stray voltage problem. So that's how to measure for a neutral stray voltage problem and to establish whether it's your utility company who's causing the problem or whether it is you. And it's quite clear that in this case, it's not originating at my home, but it's actually originating at the utility company and it's the utility company's responsibility to fix it. I hope you enjoyed the presentation, and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.